Hello everyone, in this video we will learn how to use 3D in AutoCAD 2017. First we will learn some basic elements in 3D and then later we will start building our build, start drawing our building. Okay. To work in 3D first we need to select this 3D modeling option. As you can see our entire panel has changed all elements have been changed and with new objects and other things we will learn everything how to use this okay let's first first we will learn how to use press pull command and extrude command this is our extrude this is our press pull this is our press pull so this will we will use this command most of the time so first we will learn this also as we are drawing in 3d we don't we will not only see from top view we will work in isometric view so to change our views we need to select here like see top bottom left everything is given we use ac isometrics that means southeast isometric okay now suppose we will make a rectangle like this and also we will make a rectangle by a straight line ortho is of turn on ortho like this, like this, like this, like this. Okay. Now use extrude command. To use extrude command, first select the object, press space bar or enter, then give direction and also the distance we want. Suppose we want this, suppose we want anything like this, as you can see. So and now if we change our views this is our 2d view we don't need them we will use shaded views as you can see this is a 3d solid okay. now we will try to extrude this object but difference between this object and this object is that we start this object from a rectangle and this is this is also a rectangle but this has different lines these lines are not connected now try extruding this so we need to select every lines press this bar so as you can see this is not solid this created some some layers type of things this is not solid and also if you select this double click it as you can see this is a 3d solid and if you double click this As you can see it says surface okay so just undo this now if we use press pull so what is what does press pull press pull actually detect detects face so it detects a face here automatically just if you put your mouse pointer in between as you can see it automatically selected then just give the direction we go to shaded view this is a solid so as you can see you can also use press pull to make like 3d objects we will now press pull this also as you can see it all glows click here and give the direction this is also 3d so now so as you can see this is our box and it has some faces this 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 now if you want to extend this face that time you must need to press pull command press pull will detect faces like as, as i previously said suppose we need this as you can see if we put your mouse pointer here it automatically detects this face here here so just suppose we need to extend this portion click here and keep the direction like this okay this is like difference between extrude and press pull if by extrude command you cannot do this if you need to use extrude command then it has to be a polyline or a closed line closed box then it will work okay 
suppose in 3d we need to we need to rotate objects every time to see their their, their every sides basically so to do that we have two methods one from this panel you just take orbit click anywhere and just press your left mouse button hold it like this and rotate okay but there are other option that is just hold the alt button left mouse click button and one minute sorry press alt button and your middle mouse button then sorry actually uh, to rotate another option is press shift button and hold then click mouse left mouse button sorry uh, middle mouse button and then rotate press shift hold then click on middle mouse button and then hold or otherwise you can take this orbit command and do the same okay to pan the faces you need to use this object called pan so as you can see to pan this pages you need to use this hand this hand command. zoom extend this is zoom extend sometimes what we have sometimes our drawing is we cannot see our drawing in our page it unzooms like this so that that time if we cannot if you cannot find your drawing then click on zoom extend it will automatically zoom to your desired location okay and also as you can see from here you can change your faces and your drawing faces like suppose you need top views click on top views as you can see our top view has been where our 2d welding is done now we need our suppose this is our suppose, suppose we need our AC so southeast or so click here as you can see it is selected so that's that's flowing that point so this is how this thing works okay. now we will learn and we will learn how to use UCS so this is our UCS UCS shows, our, shows us our X direction, Y direction and Z direction why do we need to use UCS because suppose this is our this is our box and suppose we need to draw something in here but if we take line command and draw it all the time it, it, it will not draw all the time here or UCS will change every time we draw a different thing so to make sure that our object will make, remain in this space or what we make in it remains on this space we need to use our UCS command to, to use UCS command type UCS press enter and just select this point gives x direction and y direction like this now if you want to make lines in in this phase you can do that by doing okay also suppose 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 if you need a rectangle you need to draw a rectangle in here it is not from sorry like this and you need to press pull this portion so it's easier to do that right now press shift and middle mouse button to orbit to see the entire object like this okay and also if when our drawing completes we need to make our UCS to work to do that select UCS command by UCS and press enter and enter again now it becomes one as you can see it shows world so this is our this is a portion where it shows like top bottom if you want to if you want to work on top top views then you can choose here by top but this is very confusing so i am telling you when you want to draw something in some faces just use ucs command and take x y direction then it will be easier for you okay now we learn extrude and press pull now we can we can make box from box command here like take box command give dimensions and like this okay you can same way you can make cone cylinder sphere everything just give the diamonds and it will automatically create everything okay now 
we will learn how to use fillet edges command. This is like very important. We will use it when we make doors, windows, everything. So to use that, take that command. Suppose we need these edges are to fillet it. So first select that. Select that like this and select that. Select that. The center. Give a radius. Suppose we need five minute, five inch radius. Press enter again. And if you zoom in, as you can see, fillet has been created like this. As you can see, no more it is corner. As you can see, fillet has been created. We will also learn how to use one by one click by just take fillet com fillet edges command use this loop command and select one side it will ask the which person do you want press next and as, as you can see it automatically detects the, this total loop here and accept it and then given radius like we need we need suppose 15 inches and press enter and enter again to came up as you can see it has been created okay suppose we copy this object to connect it here so we have two different objects but we need to these two objects to be one object to do that just select two object and from here click this icon this is sorry this is subtract there another object that is called union okay it is not showing here so to make to do union type uni union select both objects press enter and now if you select it as a single object okay. now we will make a line like this take offset command Okay, it's not happening. Offset one feet. Actually, because of UCS, it is not happening. So we need to use top UCS. Now I think it will work. Offset. No, it's not working. Sorry, it has so many times it has been created. Actually, I cannot see. Make another rectangle like this. Okay. Now we are extruding this both like this. So we need to subtract that inner of person. So how to do that? To do that, we need to use subtract command by clicking here, or you can type subtract. Select that object. Press enter. Select the middle object. Press enter. And as you can see. This the hole has been created and because it is subtracted. Okay. Suppose we need to use the edges of this object. So to do that we will use this this option. Sorry, this option this option that is called extract edges. So to do that select that of select that option 
create or select object then press this bar and now you can select these edges as you can see these white lines are created so this is this has been extracted from that object okay in here as you can see another option called copy edges suppose we need a we need to copy these edges from here to here so to do that select that edge press space bar this is how it has created so now i think we are able to now i think we can start our drawing and later we will show you the other options and how to use them when you draw okay thank you everyone in next video we will start our we'll start our start making our building